Hey, let's jump around to some news outside the NBA. Super Bowl MVP quarterback Patrick Mahomes has signed the largest potential value contract in pro sports history with the Chiefs, a 10-year extension that our Adam Schefter reports could be worth over a half a billion dollars. That got us Ooh. thinking. Perk, if there was one player in all of today's NBA that you would give a 10-year contract to, and you could only choose one guy, who would he be? Right now, today, I would take this guy right here, Luka Doncic. Let me tell you why. The Mavericks got a young stud. We talking about a guy that is, we talking about a guy right here that's averaging 28, 9, and 8, the rookie of the year. He's only 20 years old. He's been, he's been compared to LeBron James. He's been compared to Magic Johnson. And guess what? This is another Dirk Nowinski in the making for the Mavs. So if I'm the Mavs, guess what? I'm signing Luka for a light. He's a professional. He won at the professional level overseas, and he's a young stud, and he will be a future MVP. He's box office. He's a fan favorite. I'm going with Luka. Yo, the reality is the economics of this game, if you have a young stud and someone gives you the opportunity to sign him for 10 years, you do it regardless of who they are. Magic Johnson, once upon a time, signed a 25-year, $25, $25 million deal. Everyone lost their <laughs> mind. And within three years, there are already people making more than him because the reality is the trajectory of this sport is going upwards, the salaries goes upwards, and when you get cost certainty today, you, you value that over cost certainty tomorrow. Here's the reality, though, or cost uncertainty tomorrow. Here's the reality, though. If you ask me to pick one guy, I'm going to pick the 25-year-old who's already an MVP and might be a two-time MVP by the end of this season. It's Giannis. This one's easy. I mean, everything that you talk about, Luca Mr. or Ja Moran or Zion or any of these other young guys, that's great, but I already know this guy's the real deal, and he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Yeah, and I'm sure people are saying, well, where is the name Zion Williamson? And I mean, I'm a humongous believer in Zion's future, but I think if you're for the sake of this discussion, we just don't know his health. He's already had a number of knee injuries. So I agree, I mean, I think Giannis is probably a safe bet. Also, Luca, you're not 100% sure on his conditioning, but hey, there's nothing guaranteed uh, in life in the next 10 years, if anything, uh, the world has taught us in the last few months. Um, moving on to the Knicks. Uh, former NBA agent Leon Rose enters his first offseason as the Knicks president. Mark Berman of the New York Post suggested that his one of his former clients, Suns All-Star Devin Booker, has an intriguing possibility to eventually join the team. Uh, Rose has an extensive Rolodex of former All-Star clients, uh, guys like Joel Embiid, uh, Chris Paul, Carl Anthony Towns, Victor Oladipo, and even once represented LeBron before Rich Paul became his agent. I mean, while Booker is uh, specifically um, difficult, he'd be difficult to get because of he's under contract for four more years. Are you intrigued by the idea of Rose recruiting to some of his former clients, including Booker, to the Knicks? I feel like we do this every year with the Knicks. Somehow, somebody employed at the Knicks <laughs> is the godfather's cousin's baby mama's sister brother of the person who plays for another team. And boy, we'd love to have him. Think about this. I'm not saying that Devin Booker is absolutely happy in Phoenix. Obviously, things haven't gone the way he'd like it to. But if he were to choose one location to go outside of Phoenix to leave, you tell me he's going to pick a team that's even worse? That he has an even worse track record? Why? Because his agent is running it? Why? He's rushing to go play with Frank Nilakina and Kevin Knox? Come on, man. The, the <laughs> only answer here, if he were to leave, and I'm not sure he's at that mm -hmm. level yet, but if he were to leave, it's Minnesota. It's where his best friends are. Hey, listen, Leon Rose did something special last week, and guess what he did? Hired a guy by the name of World Wide West. They call him World Wide West for a reason. He has relationships with everyone. And I'm talking about everyone. If you want to talk about Jay-Z and Drake, this guy is powerful, and he knows how to interact with people. I'm pretty sure that that's why they put him in place, so that he could go out there. We know World Wide West is a is a mastermind when it comes to working his mouthpiece and, 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 and uh, swaying guys to come in his direction. That's why he was under Leon Rose in the agency. So I'm not knocking it. I think that with having World Wide West, 
that the Knicks could land Devin Booker. World Wide West could talk anybody out of anything. Great guy, but he got a hell of a mouthpiece on him, and that's why I believe in it. I would say to the Knicks, don't count on Leon Rose to bring former clients. Try to get him to pick guys like he picked his clients to bring out of the college ranks. That is where his impact is going to be. Don't count on him bringing them in. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.